Assalamualaikum, we are from Group F of Section 102, and today we'll be talking about Harold Laswell, the first founder of communication. So who exactly is Harold Laswell? Harold Dwight Laswell was born on the 13th of February 1902 and passed on the 18th December 1978. He was an American political scientist and communications theorist. He has been described as a one-man university whose competence in and contributions to anthropology, communications, economics, law, philosophy, psychology, psychiatry, and sociology are enough to make him a political scientist in the model of classical Greece. In terms of his background education, he earned his bachelor's degree in philosophy and economics and was a PhD student at the University of Chicago. He was a professor of law at Yale University. He studied at universities of London, Geneva, Paris, and Berlin in the 1920s. He served as president of the American Political Science Association, the American Society of International Law, and of the World Academy of Art and Sciences. Next is Harold Laswell's areas of research. There are three parts in which he does his research on. The first one is impotence of personality. Laswell describes the process by which power becomes a value of first impotence. The next one is social structure. From Laswell's point of view, it is the study of changes in the distribution of value patterns in society. The last one is the culture and the explanation of political phenomena. Thus will define values as the desired goals, while power as the ability to participate in decisions. Thank you, Sister Kai, for that wonderful explanation. Next, I will be explaining what's so special about Harold Laswell. Laswell, and well, Laswell is well known for his model of communication, which focuses on who communicator says what message in which channel medium to whom receiver and with what effect you can see this communication model right in the picture in the slide laswell's work was important in the post world war ii development of behaviorism similarly his definition of propaganda was viewed as an important development to understanding the goal of propaganda produced breakthroughs on the subject which broadened current views on the means and stated objectives that could be achieved through propaganda to include not only the change of opinions but also change in actions. Laswell has also published some books throughout his life. Notable works include Power and Society, uh, Psychopathology and Politics, and Propaganda Technique in the World War. I will leave the next part to my friend Daniel. Furthermore, Harold Laswell's model of communication. The linear model or transmission model are common names for this model. There is a sender, a message, a channel, a receiver, and an effect in every one-way communication. The message is encoded by the sender and sent across a channel to the receiver who decodes it and receives the effect. Then. The model is often depicted as follows, as shown in the slide. First, we start with the sender, and then to the message, to the channel, to the receiver, and lastly, the effect. According to Laswell, the key elements of communication are The first one is who, that is the sender, the person or organization sending the message. Second, says what, it is the message the content of the message being sent. The third one is, in which channel, that is the channel, the medium through which the message is being sent, for example, television, radio, and newspaper. The fourth one is, to whom, that is the receiver, the person or audience receiving the message. Lastly, with what effect, that is the effect, the impact or outcome of the message on the receiver. Laswell's model has come under fire for being overly straightforward and failing to take feedback and noise into account when describing the complexity of communication. In mass communication and media studies, in particular, it continues to be a helpful place to start when analyzing communication processes.